In this video, I'll be using a policy to deploy for the client VPN, the free version. I will be using two different deployment options. One is where we create a group policy for our computers, and then the computers install the software during startup. Another one is where we create a policy for our domain users, and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they like. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and here you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup if you're interested in that. And also here you can find extra settings and group policies that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading Forti Client VPN installation files. And for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the Forti Client download page. Then I will scroll down a bit. And here we can see Forti Client VPN. And I will be downloading VPN for Windows. And I will click on download. The download should start for us and I'll go to my downloads folder. And as you can see here we have our executable. And there are a few problems that we need to solve with this executable. As you can see the file size is very small and that's because this executable doesn't install the software but it downloads the installation files for us. And I will be using this executable to download the installation files and I will be executing it on my server because the server environment that I will be using in this video is my test environment. And if you're trying to deploy Forti Client in a production environment, you should execute this executable in a client machine or some type of uh, testing virtual machine to get the installation files. But in my case, like I said, I will be performing it on my server because my server is my test environment. So I will right click on the file, select copy and go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server setup. Then I will minimize Server Manager for now and I will move the executable to my desktop. Then I will double click to execute. And as you can see, the download started for me and we need to wait a few minutes for it to finish. And as you can see, after downloading the installation files, the downloader started the installation. Now for us to grab the MSI file, I will open File Explorer. And here in the link menu, I will add percentage sign, then write temp, and percentage sign and press enter and as you can see it goes to my temp folder and here you should see a folder similar to this one then i will go inside of it and here we can see for the client vpn msi file so i will right click it copy it and i will move it to my desktop for now i will minimize the file explorer and i will close the installation and finish. And now that we have our installation file that we can deploy, we need to move it to a network share that is accessible to our users and computers. And for that, I will go to my file explorer once again. And here I will enter my file server name. It's SRV02. As you can see here, I have a software share. And inside of it, I will create a folder named Forti Client. I will go inside of it and I will move the MSI file into this folder. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions. For example, if I go to properties and security tab, then edit, you can see my NTFS permissions. And here I have authenticated users with read permissions. And I have the same permissions for my share permissions. And authenticated users means that both users and computers in my domain can access this share and execute files from it. So make sure that you have the correct permissions and I will close everything here and then go to my server manager because now we can start creating our group policies. And in the server manager, I will go to tools, group policy management, right click on group policy objects and select new. And the first policy that I will be creating here will be for our domain computers. It's where the software is installed during startup. And I will name this policy assign for the client and click OK. I will expand group policy objects, right click on the policy that I created and click edit. And because this policy will be for our computers, we need to go to the computer configuration, policies, software settings and software installation. Then I will right click in this window, go to new and select package. Here, make sure that you're selecting a file from a network share. For example, this one is a local file on the server. It's located on the desktop in the server in my user profile. The group policy will allow you to select this file, but when the computers will try to install the software, the installation will fail because the computers don't have access 
to this folder on the server. So make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share. And text is a network share, I will click here. And once again, I will enter my file server name, so SRV02. I will go to the software share for the client folder and select the MSI file that we want to deploy. Here I will select advanced and click OK. Then I will go to the deployment tab and select advanced. And here I will select ignore language when deploying this package because I want to deploy this package to the clients no matter what language they have. And then I will click OK and OK. And we are done creating our group policy. So I will close this window. Then I will select the group policy, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. So after creating our policy, we need to assign it to a, an organization unit that is holding computers on which we want to install the software. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, domain computers one. And to assign this policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And then I will click OK here. As you can see, the policy appeared here. And also if I click on the organization unit, I can see the policy in this list. And now to test if this policy is working properly, I will go to one of my client machines that is located in this organization unit. So for that, I will go to my client 01 that I have here. And here we want to update our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu. I will enter CMD and I will open it without administrative privileges. In the command line, I will type GP update and press enter. And as you can see, the policy was updated successfully. And also we are getting this informational message here saying that the computer detected a software installation package and for the software to be installed, the computer needs to be restarted. So to restart the computer, I will type shutdown minus r minus t zero and press enter and let's see what's going to happen and as you can see here we can see that the installation 440 client vpn has been started and we need to wait a bit and it seems that the installation is done so now i will sign into this computer And here we see that we have 40 client VPN desktop shortcut. So I will double click on it. I will agree with the license terms. My DPI settings is too high for, for this application. So I don't see the button. So I will press tab on my keyboard and it should appear. Then I will click accept. And as you can see, 40 client VPN for this computer is working fine. And that's it for deploying 40 client VPN for domain computers. Now let's create another policy, this time for our users and allow them to install the software whenever they like. So for that, I will go back to my server, right click on group policy objects, select new. This time I will name the policy publish 40 client, click OK. I will right click on the policy, select edit. And this time, because this policy is for our users, we need to go to user configuration, policy, software settings, and software installation. I will right click in the window here, go to new and select package. Once again, make sure that you're selecting a file from a network share. For example, if I click here, I can see that this file is located on my file server. So I will double click on the file, click advance and select OK. Here I will go to deployment and here for installation user interface options, I will select basic because I don't want to allow my users to select anything during the installation process. Then I will click OK. And we are done creating our policy. So I will close this window. I will select the policy here, go to details and this time for the GPO status, I will select computer settings disabled because this time this policy only has user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now we need to assign the policy to an organization unit. But this time I will assign it to an organization unit that is holding my users. In my case, it's domain users. So I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. As you can see, the group policy up appeared here and also in here. Now to this, this policy, I will go to my other client machine that I have here, client 02. And here I have this shortcut that allows me to install software from a network. The, currently the list is empty. 
And to fill the list, we need to update our group policy. So once again, I will go to start menu, type in CMD, and I will open it without administrative privileges. Then I will type GP update and wait for the policy to update. And the policy updated successfully. So now I can go to my program list, right click here and press refresh. As you can see, the package for 40 client VPN appeared, so I'll double click on it and start the installation. And the installation was successful, so I'll click OK here. We can see our desktop shortcut here, so I'll double click on it. Once again, I will accept the license agreement and then click tab to see the button. And it seems that 40 client for this user is also working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy 40 client using other software deployment tools. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.